Your credit score, savings, and income all play a role in determining whether or not you're able to buy a house. Hey, South Florida, it's your realtor, Julio Gonzalez. In this installment of my Getting Ready to Buy a Home series, we'll talk about financial planning. If you get to the point of looking at houses with the purpose of making an offer and you do not have your finances in order, you're simply looking for disappointment. Buying a house requires review of all aspects of your finances, so you need to have a financial plan in place to save money and control expenses in order to buy a house. Financial health requires planning, strategy, smart investing, and clarity about how you're using your money. It's not easy to save money when your paycheck is already stretched thin, but it can be done with the right approach. I've always said that it is important to save money as well as to spend money, so I recommend a short-term savings plan, a long-term savings plan, and an expense management plan. Notice I didn't use the term budget, as the term has become intimidating to many. Short-term savings are necessary for emergency funds and other short-term expenses. Do you need to save up for new tires? What about paying for replacing that dead starter motor in your car? Short-term savings are funds you need available now. We'll talk about credit cards in my next video. Long-term funds are meant to be used only for those longer-term goals and should not be counted on for short-term expense needs. Your expense plan looks at what's left after putting short-term and long-term savings money away. Notice I said expenses come after short-term and long-term savings. Here's a great tip. Take your savings money out from your paycheck before it hits your checking account. You will get used to not seeing that money and increase your savings. Accounts like 401ks are great for retirement planning, but how about also putting $50 or $100 per paycheck in a separate savings account too? Most importantly though, we need to figure out our spending habits. Start by listing out every recurring payment you make monthly. Just a simple list. Don't forget your Netflix subscription. Next, use a diary or other method to document all other purchases such as lunches and that trip to Target. Subtract all these expenses from your monthly pay, only the amount that goes into your checking account, and that's what's left. If there's money left over, great. Take some of that and put it into your savings account. If you're short money, you may need to adjust your savings plan and reduce expenses. Depending on credit cards to make ends meet, and expenses like meal delivery are spending areas that may need serious analysis. Once you have clarity on where your money is going and how you're spending it, you can determine your next steps. If you've never taken a serious look at expenses, give me a call. My number's in my bio. I can help you get started and get you some great resources. Next time, we'll look at credit cards and credit score, so don't miss the next installment of my Getting Ready to Buy a Home series. Real estate is a referral business. Who do you know that needs a great realtor to buy or sell today? Ask them to give me a call. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my blog by clicking the link in my bio. Thanks and enjoy the sunshine.